In pursuit of river monsters, I've traveled to the four corners of the globe. Suriname is one place I've never had cause to visit, until now. I've come to investigate the possibility that although everyone knows the notorious piranha, there may be a fish out here that has an even more fearsome reputation. Suriname is South America's best kept secret. It is the smallest country on the continent with a population of only half a million people, but it can boast the largest continuous area of unspoiled rainforest in the world. Once a Dutch colony, it is a true melting pot of nationalities and cultures. The majority of the sparse population live along the coast. So the deeper into the country you go, the further you are from the civilized world. I have been to remote places before, but this is of a new order. If things go wrong out here, there is little hope of being rescued. But first, I have to meet the victim in the story, the man who was attacked by this mystery fish. I've arranged to meet him where the attack happened, at the dam two hours out of the capital, Paramaribo. The dam was built on the Suriname River and completed in 1964, creating one of the largest man-made lakes in the world, called Broca Pondo, on the banks of which I meet Maurice Gantz, a local man of Dutch descent. What was your job on the, the dam at the time? We were asked to dive to see uh, the erosion yeah. from the down, in the downstream for big holes underneath. So we pour in cement yes. in big, large bags. So we go underneath there, start up the engine on top. The water becomes like mist. Yeah. We cannot see anymore. Suddenly, I saw something blinking. So I grab my knife and then he hits me. So fast, I blew out my hand. I don't know if the knife hits him. Then I start feeling and seeing the blood flowing. I realized I was bitten and very deep. This was definitely not a piranha attack. They rush in snatching quick, savage bites. They don't cling onto their victims like a dog with a bone. Morris's mutilated hand needed over a hundred stitches, and even though it was 20 years ago, he still very much bears the scars. Is this the scar here? Yes, this is the scar from oh, here yes. to here, over this small finger, cut here. And those are the tooths from the top. It's hard to believe there's a freshwater fish that would launch a solo attack on a diver. Did you know what fish it was? It's Anyumara. Anyumara, also known as the wolf fish, so called for its wolf-like teeth. These fish can grow to nearly four and a half feet and weigh 80 pounds. They are serious predators. But I had until now never heard of one ever attacking a person. I wonder if Morris ever had any other kind of close encounter while he was diving. The only thing that we saw close behind us were piranhas. Did that make you slightly nervous? Not really, not mm -hmm. really. Mm -hmm. But every time you do like this or you make a sudden move, they disappear. They never came and took a nip out of any... No, 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 mm. no. So Morris often saw piranhas, but they never ever came close unlike this lone wolf. This fish attacked, and if Morris hadn't had his knife, who knows what could have happened. Could it be that the wolf fish is more dangerous than the more notorious South American horror, the piranha? 